I'm in this town to speak at a programming conference and talk about creativity and technology being having this close relationship. You have, are known most for a card game. Yeah. For an analog, tactile experience yeah. where people have to be at the same physical table. I got to smell somebody else's nasty breath. I might get spat upon. <laughs> uh, and that is so different from where money and attention are flowing as far as new interactive experiences. But Cards Against Humanity is highly interactive. So what gives with the analog game? Tell me about your choice there, um, given you know, your age. Well, I think it's... So I think going going into cards, like it was to to some degree, it was a it was a challenge we had to overcome. Right, yeah. that we were doing this very old fashioned thing that sort of was maybe a little bit like out of time, and and you know it wasn't like you said it wasn't like people weren't weren't clamoring to like play card games yeah. or whatever. Um, but I think as we've gotten a little older and like more mature and and learned more about it and and seen its place in the world, like I actually think it was kind of a secret strength of the game mm. that I think it, it was. It, to some degree, like we made this thing for ourselves long before we we had any idea of like sharing it with people, yeah. and it answered a need that we had in our lives, which is we wanted a reason to hang out with each other in real life and have a, a human experience that was not mitigated by screens yeah. or text uh, or you know typing. Um, I've got four screens in front of right, me right I now. I mean, by the way, Are but you... that's our but that's our <laughs> life. I mean, that's our lives too, right? I mean, I don't, I'm not saying anything bad about that because that's that's how I spend uh, you know 18 hours a day staring at glowing rectangles. But yeah. but you know, we did have that need of like we, we wanted this this way to connect with each other. Um, so so that was part of it was that you know you're, you're going to have this great social experience with people. So people often tell us like when, when I I talk to them about cards, it was like oh I had like the best time of my life. And yeah. We went out to a bar and we were like laughing and having fun like. You know, the secret is cards is actually a very small part of that. It's yeah. really just that it was the impetus for you to like connect with these yeah, people. Yeah, go out with yeah. people, make a plan, show up at the bar, yeah. be with each other, not be looking at your phones. Like you know, you, that is a good experience with or without cards. Yeah. But but I'm glad that we were able to push it. A little You're like bit a more. catalyst. And exactly. You know, I, I experienced it in in a big fashion at Thanksgiving. My sister lives in Lansing. She's got a big community of friends there. I don't see her much, much less them, because when I do, I like try to sneak in and out. I want to maximize my time with her. There were probably 20 people, mm. and we took over the restaurant. We put tables together. And we, it slows the game down a lot. I don't recommend 20, by the way. It's almost like too much, because yeah. uh, people get little side conversations going, and it breaks apart the group experience a little. But it was insanely fun. Yeah. And I, it was how I met people, too. So it was an interesting way to get a window into your personality. Yeah. Like, what are you Isn't putting that, forth? How are you explaining it's, things? It's like, we, we never thought of it as a, <clears throat> like a, like an icebreaker game. Right. And actually that just, even that word like makes me nauseous. Like, <laughs> I just hate it's when like getting to know you. Ugh, For you ugh, coworkers, ugh, right? Trust games. Ugh. It's like, when you're in college and someone's like, Play an icebreaker game. You just like flee for the door. It's like how do I add more ice to this experience? Yeah. Right. Now? Yeah. But uh, cards does kind of work. It has that yeah. weird, like, peculiar effect of like you know when you meet new people. You're, you're. I think I have a lot of social anxiety, and mm -hmm. and one of the things I worry about is like, am I going to say the wrong thing? Is this person not going to like? <laughs> so me you made a game I'm, that forces people right. to say the wrong. Well, thing. it's like you. Yeah, it doesn't force you, but yeah. it gives you permission to talk right. about things that you wouldn't necessarily. You know, you're you're saying out loud. The game is a framework that lets you say things out loud that you might not otherwise say to people. Yeah. And there's a certain tension there, but that's comedy, right? When you create that tension and then people laugh, there's like the tension and the release of the yep. tension. It's like, okay, we're all we're all cool. Yeah. Like, everyone can laugh at these things. Yeah. And we're all aware of these these. You know, taboos. Yeah. Or, well, yeah. it's like yeah, it's like taboos, or even like the things that, that normally divide people, yeah. right? And it's like, well, we'll put it all on the table. Like yeah. literally, it's right there. I'm yeah. gonna say it out loud. Um, and so I do think, yeah, I, I do think it does, it is a pretty good, like, shortcut to just, like, cutting through all that bullshit. 